I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At Wednesday's House administration hearing, Congresswoman Kat Kamak out of Florida elections. She asked witnesses how the Sunshine State has become, quote, the gold standard for elections and if they support requiring photo IDs to vote. Listen in for her full line of questioning. Well, thank you so much for all of our witnesses for appearing here today. This is such an important topic, and uh, I got to say, you guys came to the right place. If you want to know how to do elections right, the Sunshine State has a great example, and I mean that both literally and figuratively. Uh, I'm going to direct my first question to uh, Supervisor Anderson. I want to thank you for being here today and representing the great work that Florida has done with our election laws. Now, we knew back in 2000, <clears throat> excuse me, that Florida needed to make some important changes to its election laws. No one can forget the infamous hanging chads. Now, can you highlight for us the major changes that were made and demonstrate now why Florida is the gold standard for elections, just summarizing the key changes and why these are so important for every state to implement? Absolutely. And, and I will say that uh, in order to remain at the tip of the spear in elections, uh, uh, in security and in administration, we have to take a proactive uh, response, and I believe that's what the state of Florida is doing. The things that we've done to improve in 2020 are since 2000, uh, adding a no excuse vote by mail option. That means that you can uh, request a ballot be sent to you. You request that ballot be sent to another location as long as you send in written authorization with your original signature. So you can go on vacation and, and uh, say, hey, Chris, I'd like, I'll be here. Can you send my ballot here? We did that many, many different times in, in uh, 2020. Uh, early voting, you have a, a maximum of 14 days, 12 hours a day. You know, I broke that down in hours. I like to give people uh, a good understanding of how it really, really works. So you have, a, during the general election, 168 hours of early voting. You can vote by mail 792 hours. You have 12 hours of, of, of voting on election day. You have a total of 970 hours to cast a ballot in the general election. That's quite a long time. And I believe that voters in Florida make sure that uh, voting is a priority and they, and they come out and vote. And we've seen that with the amount of turnout that we've had. That's awesome. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. And I can assume, based on your testimony and your previous answers to questions, that you believe that a picture ID of some sort is required to vote, yes or no? Yes. Uh, same question to you, uh, Commissioner Holt, yes or no. Do you believe that a photo ID should be required to vote? Yes, I think it should be a Social Security card with a picture on it. Thank you. Mr. Ashwell, yes or no, do you believe that a photo ID should be required to vote? Um, yes. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Schoon, I, I hope I'm saying that right. Yes. Um, <laughs> thank you. Y yes, you do believe a photo ID is required to vote? Yes, I do. Thank you so much. And Ms. Bennett, do you believe that a photo ID should be required to vote? Yes, some form of identification. A photo ID? Yes. Thank you so much. Ms. Bennett, I'm going to stay with you to paraphrase in your testimony. You state that federal action is needed to prevent Florida from suppressing the vote. Is that correct? Yes. So stick with me on this hypothetical. If President Trump were still in office, would you want the Trump DOJ tasked with enforcing election law? Yes. Thank you. And Ms. Schoon, what election integrity safeguards does the League of Women Voters in Florida support? Well, we've been supportive and we're what some of the proponents uh, to support the ERIC, which is a way of the states talking to each other and checking to make sure that people are not double voting. We've testified about support of ERIC and we were glad when the state supported it and then we asked for funding for it. So that's one of the things that we've done. 
Thank you. I, I too support the Eric system. I think it is a common sense measure to safeguard our elections and make them more secure. Uh, you know, I could go through a litany of questions that I have listed out here today, but I'm short on time. So I'll say this. I think Florida has gotten it right from many years of doing it wrong. And this should not be a Republican versus Democrat issue. This is an American issue. So I would hope that instead of chasing political agendas, we can chase truth and we can chase uh, after a way and continue to bolster election security so that everyone goes to the ballot box knowing that their vote is being counted as cast and intended. So I'm appreciative of the committee for being in the Sunshine State today. And thank you to our witnesses for appearing. I yield.